Uber and Lyft driving have become popular side hustles for people around the world. But for one driver, the ride sharing services are more than just a full time gig. You just push go. Leanne Brown is a full time Uber and Lyft driver. Oh my goodness, it's been awesome. I've loved it. So there's Uber, and it's just as easy as that. She's been her own boss since August of 2018. I don't have to hear or listen to anybody else except what my budget needs. There are a lot of reasons why she does it. I love it because I get to meet so many people from all over the world that come into this city. But quite possibly the most important reason, Brown has a brother who is a former alcoholic. Driving for a living gives her the chance to help people get home safe after a night of drinking, rather than those people getting behind the wheel of their own car. I think that's why I'm out there. Um, I, I want to be of service to the community. So have ride sharing services had a real impact on DUI crashes in the Birmingham Metro? We asked the Center for Advanced Public Safety at the University of Alabama. CAPS tracks traffic safety stats around the state. Rhonda Strickland is the center's associate director. We did see some decrease uh, in DUI in the urban areas um, after Uber came into play. You know, how much of that's due to Uber, you can't say for sure. CAPS reports there's been a decline in DUI crashes in Birmingham and Tuscaloosa since 2015, about the time Uber entered the market. DUI crashes have decreased over 5% in Birmingham since 2015 and are down over 25% in Tuscaloosa. Even though overall crashes are up statewide, those involving DUI are down, according to CAPS. It's reasonable to think that at least some of that could be due to the ride sharing services. Anytime you can get a, a impaired driver off the road, that's beneficial to, to them and everyone else. Brown says she definitely gets the impression she and other drivers help out when it comes to keeping drunk drivers off the roads. I have had people at night that are policemen say thank you so much.